Hello guys, welcome back to Derby Coy. Um, well, fun and games, shall we say. I've <laughs> um, right, been at work, uh, well actually yesterday, um, had a message to say that there's seen some flashing in the pond. Graham's seen some flashing. So I thought, oh, okay, get back after uh, some tests and whatever, scrapes. When I got home, they were going absolutely crazy, some of them. Uh, really are going crazy. So, first port of call, um, let me sit down now, um, were water checks. Let's spin around here first. Yeah. So, first port of call I did was did my water tests, and I found my nitrite and my nitrate were quite high. Um, I don't know why, well, I didn't know why at the start. Um, so, in fact, the nitrite was, was, was really high, to be honest. So, first thing I did, I dropped a load of water out of the pond, about a foot and a half, maybe even close, over a foot and a half, maybe. Did a major water change yesterday, dechlorinated the water, and uh, tested again. Levels had come down a little bit, but uh, we dropped quite a bit, to be honest. Um, but I couldn't understand why. So I thought, well, I'm just gonna test um, the bunker as well and that was high so I am not well, I wasn't feeding any more than normal nothing has changed that I could think about um, so I went and spoke to a, a neighbor of mine who has got a pond uh, had a chat with him and had a look at his pond and his, his fish were going crazy as well so I asked him if he could do a water test for me and this was exactly the same. Um, he did say that he was aware that somewhere around here, I don't know exactly where, around here they have been doing some work on the water pipes. So all I can put it down to is they've been doing some work and without me realising over whatever period of time, because I've got my trickle in and trickle out system, um, it's putting, putting something in the, in the water that's actually up the nitrite and nitrate. Um, so I did a test on the water yesterday um, and it seemed fine. Couldn't find anything in the water. He did the same, he couldn't find anything in the water. Um, so come home today, did another water test and again it's not as high as it was yesterday but it's still quite high. So again I've done a major water drop as you can see. It's filling up now, I've dropped about another foot and a half again. I've dechlorinated the water and as you can see I've got that hose going in as well. Top it back up, it's been topping up now for about an hour. What time are we? An hour and a half now. So again doing another major water change. Um, I decided today just to just to make sure as well. I took a couple out today and did a couple of scrapes. And absolutely nothing on them. Nothing at all. Uh, also did another water change in the bunker, done a fairly big water change in there. So, um, since we're in the water changes, they have calmed down. They're still doing a little bit of flicking today. A bit of erratic. Not as bad as yesterday, so that's why I'm doing another major water change. Um, and I think again tomorrow, I think I'll do another water change again tomorrow. Um, I have been putting my load of them bio-balls in the media um, to hopefully help with that as well. So yeah, all I can put it down to is something the water company's done and uh, working on the water pipes that it's been actually getting in the pond through my trickling system um, and it got really high before I even noticed um, there have been no issues up until then so only within the last day or two last couple of days maybe two days something like that, three days maximum since uh, I've done any tests so yeah whatever it was it really has um, got these really agitated now hopefully uh, the levels wasn't too high to cause any major damage because I know when your nitrite and nitrites can be high it can cause interior internal problems with the livers and stuff and I think they call it brain blood disease as well if it gets too high for too long but hopefully I've caught it in time I have brought the levels down enough uh, that they're not affected so my uh, Sankey is looking a little little pink a little stressed um, but 
apart from that the others ain't looking too bad I thought it would show up on the uh, Platinum Ogons a bit more but I can't see any pinkness on them uh, but they have been going erratic and um, flashing around the pond a little bit so fingers crossed I've caught it in time um, I'm doing this water change now when that's topped up I'll do my test again and I may even do another major water I may even drop a load more and uh, dilute it some more um, tonight we'll see it's not what I need when you're on a water meter but excuse me um, hopefully I've caught it as you can see I've got my net I'm gonna I've just had it off because I've just had the mount and put the net back over because I don't want him being uh, agitated and jumping out so I shall keep you informed um, not much more I can do today apart from water changes so again I'll probably come back with you tomorrow now I'm going to do another water change and test again tomorrow so I shall see you then okay guys so um, this ongoing issue I'm having with my nitrites and nitrites um, <clears throat> still struggling with it at the moment um, but as you see from the top of the video um, with the brown blood disease some of you may not have heard of it um, I was I've heard of it before but I was unsure what it was what it basically is is when your um, pond water or your kayak are in high nitrate levels they can get what they call brown blood disease um, from my understanding what, standing what it is is the when it get reached sort of toxic levels quite high levels of nitrites uh, in your pond it affects is the it affects is it, aff it affects the um, hemoglobin set of blood cells um, so the chi can't it produces the oxygen but it struggles to pass it around the body so it can can um, in extreme cases uh, cause brown blood disease which means basically your koi's blood turns like a, a brownie colour if it starts to bleed um, now I've not 100% if it's turned brown but some that I've got I had a lot of the symptoms of brown blood disease when looking into it because of the high levels um, clamp fins um, swimming along and they suddenly uh, clamp up and then go over to one side uh, as I said earlier on it looked like um, you, you think your fish is dead and then all of a sudden it will dart off again um, that is the start potentially of brown blood disease hopefully I've caught it early enough because later stages of brown blood disease is when they have those symptoms and then they are really gasping at the top of the water uh, on the surface for air luckily I haven't I didn't have that so I think I caught it in time um, still don't know 100% what caused it everything was absolutely fantastic fine no issues until um, Graham had told me that he'd seen some flashing I don't know how long the nitrates have been that high in the water I, I personally didn't see anything before that so it may not have been too long but obviously I did major water changes um, as soon as I, I realized the issue I did major water change to try and get the levels down so um, it has brought them down a fair way not into toxic levels um, but I was still having issues that sun's gone bright um, I was still having oh, hell, I can't get the thing right I was still having issues um, with these levels now I don't know if you've seen the Wednesday video I actually popped down to the card collection the weekend to see Ken um, I actually went down to pick a few bits up one of them being this um, I want to say dose the filters again to hopefully encourage more beneficial bacteria to help with these levels um, to help combat the potential brown blood disease um, obviously the first thing you do, need to do is try and get the levels down as quick as possible so they're no longer in toxic levels uh, i.e. with major water changes which I was, I've been doing daily um, 
I've also added salt to the pond, which can help as well. Um, and salt levels can help bring the nitrite down as well. So it helps a little bit, um, but I still do manage a water change. But, but while I was at the Koi collection, I was obviously speaking to Ken about this, and he recommended a product to me. So I purchased some, which is this. It's called Prime by Seachem Prime. Um, now, I'm not sure if it's going to work or not, so I bought, just bought what one size was this one, a 500 ml bottle, and this will give me approximately two doses for my pond. Um, and I put it in um, the, day, the day I got it, and within an hour, it brought my little tested again. I put it in and tested probably probably less than an hour later. I tested the water again and it brought my levels virtually back down to zero to zero zero back down to zero. What it does, it actually um, I've got my glasses, oh, I've got my glasses there, but it actually locks the uh, toxic particles together um, and it neutralizes them. Well, it, it encases them. It locks them together and encases them so the levels are no longer in the pond and hopefully then it gives your a filter chance to catch up and remove those particles as it goes through. Now unfortunately it does break down, this prime breaks down over time and it only lasts maybe 24 hours and then it starts to break down and your levels can start to increase again so you obviously need to continue with your water changes and if it gets up too high again starts to get high you can add some more prime which is what I think I might do today I'm actually doing a water change at the moment um, I'm doing I've talked about another foot and a half out something like that a foot to a foot and a half um, so I'm filling that back up and I will add the prime again to get the levels down what it's doing it's getting their levels down low enough to hopefully give your koi some relief from any uh, toxic levels or the nitrate and nitrites it actually helps with ammonia as well, if you have ammonia spikes it can neutralise those and bring those back down. As I said within an hour it brought my levels virtually down to zero again, which I was over the moon with, give the koi a bit of a relief. But they are starting to creep back up now because it is starting to break down. So that's why I'm doing another water change again to keep those levels down. I'm going to put this back in again, add more of my filter gel and hopefully um, I can get on top of this pretty soon um, because it's now been four, four maybe five days. I can't remember exactly when it was now. Um, I've had these issues, and I'm uh, a couple of the fish are looking quite battered at the moment. Uh, my Dodge Platinum Ogon, especially, is looking battered. Obviously, the uh, Kin Matsuba, which is now in the bunker at the back, was really clamped up. He's calmed down, he's not flashing as much as he was. I haven't really seen him on his side as much because he's round the back in salt as well. But he's out of those higher levels. Uh, obviously I had an issue around there as well, in the bunker. But because that's just a small body of water, I managed to get that under, under control really quick. Um, with major water change in there and I think with that new media in there as well, uh, that's helping to break it down a lot quicker as well. Um, now obviously in here I've been putting the gel in, so I've had to turn my UV off. Um, I've these major water changes. My water has gone, gone to, really gone to pot, so I'm thankful I have got that new filter in there as well. Um, that's removing a lot of stuff. I'm at, because of the what's going on, all the thickening and flashing, it's disturbing all the algae off the sides and any blanket weed on there. And these water changes are disturbing a lot of stuff. So that, that filter is really helping to clean some of that out, but the water really is bad um, at the moment. Now, I'll spin you around in a minute to see if we can catch the Platinum Ogon. I'll show you how pink she is. My uh, Sankey is looking really pink as well. Um, the Platinum Ogon was flashing quite badly, um, and it is quite bad on the one side where it's rubbed against something in the pond, maybe the bottom drain, and it's scratched the bottom, uh, the, scratched the side but the salty in there so hopefully help that as well so yeah it's uh i'm struggling to get these under control at the moment but this prime this prime is an excellent product in an emergency if you have a sudden i'm gonna i'm definitely gonna i'm use this one i'm gonna order some more 
um, and when I get this under control I'm going to keep some in, in stock so if I ever get a sp start to get a spike again I can chuck some of that in just to get it under control hopefully quick enough um, so it doesn't damage any koi I can't recommend that highly enough that's I was really surprised how quick that actually uh, helped with the uh, the levels in the pond now I will spin you around uh, she's looking very red she's banged her head as well um, and you hopefully you can see I've got the net on there because I didn't want any jumping out so I'll spin you around you'll see how dirty the water how mucky the water is at the moment because the UV's off um, and I'll show you what they look like okay there she is I don't think it's just been a bit of darkness the really dark on her head her tail it's got a marple down to one side swimming off a bit now um, I don't know if you can actually see it's hard for me to see on the camera what you can actually see and the Sankey's coming round at the moment she's looking a bit pink as well but that platinum over on so I can pull this lip back and see you can see her down there she's looking a bit red where she's uh, damaged herself so hopefully I can um, get on top of these levels and hopefully I've caught it in time um, and if, if brown blood doesn't go any worse because it, unfortunately brown blood can kill in the later stages if it gets left too long so but they're not gasping for the air uh, or anything like that so fingers crossed I've caught it in time right I'm not actually sure what you can actually see on camera at the moment uh, I couldn't really see the screen in this sunlight um, but yeah I, I don't know what else I can do I've had I've been a lot of research I've been doing on it how to get these levels down how to deal with the brown blood disease um, if that's what it is um, I don't know what more I can actually do at the moment I'm doing major water changes daily as I said I'm putting my filter jelly in there I've got this prime now as well um, I've got salt in the pond I've, I, I, I have put vercon in there as well to help try and help anything down all my filter systems been thoroughly cleaned I've cleaned um, all the filters I've had a good clean um, I didn't record it all obviously but uh, I even cleaned flush the bottom drain which was fine there's nothing really dirty in there just in case there's something in there that's out that's that's stopping it from uh, reducing the levels and causing the higher levels but it just seems so strange how uh, I had it on both of them and the neighbor had had issues he was still also still having issues with his pond as well um, this is only a small pond so he's managed to get his under a, a bit more control at the moment uh, the bunker if the levels in that are absolutely perfect again back to spot on no issues that's why I've put those others around there uh, and if you did see the Friday the Wednesday video you did see obviously went to Ken's and I did come back with a couple of purchases which have gone in there and again levels are fine and they're absolutely perfect no issues in there now so yeah I don't really know what else I can do apart from what I'm doing um, all I can do is these water changes and until whatever it is is gone and the filters can catch up my only other concern now is all these major water changes is I've got to keep my eye out now for white spot um, but I don't know with the flashing that's going on I am doing scrapes as I'm going just to make sure um, I don't know if they're flashing because of the, the, the nitrite level nitrite and nitrite levels or parasites but I've done lo plenty of scrapes I've done one again today um, found nothing on one that's flashing uh, so it's not parasites and as I said I've got salt in the pond so hoping that's gonna keep any parasites at bay for a while um, obviously it won't affect fluke if I get fluke but any others hopefully they'll keep them at bay until I can get these levels under control but yeah um, so that's the basis of brown blood really uh, what it can do and hopefully the research I've done salt it helps with the with the brown blood disease and as I say I think I've caught it in time fingers crossed so yeah not much else at the moment I will keep you updated um, so yeah I'm just on my top up at the moment so I'll come back to you when I got some more okay guys so it's uh, Thursday so uh, keeping you updated on what's going on <clears throat> 
Um, now, as you know, I've been having a few issues, and thankfully, I've got to say, it's going in the right direction now. Um, levels are coming right down. I've been doing major water changes. Uh, as I say, the water, the uh, <clears throat> nitrate and nitrate levels are coming down. So, within acceptable levels, still want to go a bit lower. I obviously get them down to zero, it'd be nice, uh, or back to zero. But um, the fish in the pond now are a lot, a lot happier than they were. Um, I'll spin you around in a minute. It's, hopefully, you'll get a decent picture of it, um, and you can see, especially the Deutsch Platinum Ogon. Uh, it was, it was very red, especially on his head and a bit on the side, and the Sankey was a little quite pink, um, looking a lot better, a lot better. Uh, I've still got salt in the pond. That's up to just under 0 0.3 at the moment. Uh, once all my issues are done, I'm not going to add any more salt to the main pond. And the two koi I put round the back, uh, which was my um, what did I put round the back? Kinmatsuba and uh, Kizuri. Um, they're so much happier up there since <laughs> putting put round there. Uh, it looks like. Um, I caught it in time and the uh, any issues with the start of brown blood disease which is that one uh, the Kinman Super around there which was looking a bit Ooh, is it gonna happen is he gonna get it I think I caught it in time thankfully so yeah uh, things are looking a bit more positive at the moment I know that all this video has been a bit doom and gloom um, but yeah happier now I'm on the I'm, it's on the turn with the, the levels Still having to do water changes, I still want to do more. I'm doing them every day. Um, so I'll spin you around now and we'll have a look at this um, Dodge Platinum. You can see there on the head now, it's virtually gone. All the redness on the head and on the side. There she is down there. Look at her, it's so much better. There she's coming up there, look. The redness is virtually gone, which I'm really happy about. And uh, the Sankey, which is hiding at the bottom at the moment, oh, she's over there at the moment. She may come round, but looking a lot better, a lot, lot better. So, very happy with that. Yeah, so as I say, extremely happy now, They're looking a lot better. Um, if I can get the levels down or we'll keep them down, hopefully, if I don't have any more issues, um, I might put them to um, that are in the bunker at the moment, they may get back in. Um, at the weekend, well, the sun's gone really bright. <laughs> um, they may go back in at the weekend. If not, I'll wait till next week, um, just so I'm happy with those levels. So yeah, as I say, a bit of a doom and gloom in this video, but it's um, looking a bit more positive now. And I, on an even more positive note, this weekend is the BKKS National Show down in Coventry. Now, uh, I was hoping to go both days, but unfortunately I can't. Um, I can't do both days, so uh, I'll be doing. Um, I'm just gonna add that sun. Well, um, I'll be doing the Sunday, so I'm looking really looking forward to it. I know a lot of people are going on the Sunday that I know, so it'll be interesting. Great to meet uh, meet every, up with everybody, and some new people I haven't met before will be there as well. So I'm looking forward to meeting uh, those as well. So if you do see me, come over and say hello. If you don't want to speak to me, come and give uh, Busy a bit of fuss. He'll love it as always. He's a bit of a diva. So yeah, really looking forward to the weekend. So that's it for now. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Hit that bell for your notifications. It'd be great to give you a thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithms. So until the next one, stay safe. Jobs are good.